So first and foremost is the first objective that we had, uh, and that's developing the skills and talents of uh, the engineers who've been working on this program over the course of the last six years. On July 19, when the spacecraft Al Amal was launched from Tanegashima Space Center in Japan, it not only marked the success of UAE in space science, but also initiated the Arab nation's entrance to space exploration. In fact, UAE created a double history with the mission. First, it announced an Arab nation's entry into the space science revolution, breaking all conventions. More than that, it was spearheaded by an Emirati female. The spacecraft to the Mars, built at Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center with the help of the American Space Agency, was executed by the 33-year-old Sara Al-Amiri, who is also the Minister of State for Advanced Sciences in the UAE cabinet. It shows the Arab world's deep interest in the interplanetary mission. It's been Interesting so far, it's been a great learning progression and it has been such a privilege to work on this program. And now waiting on Tanagashima Island for the launch um, is an experience unto itself. Uh, uh, waiting for this spacecraft to launch and head towards Mars on a seventh a month journey, arrive there um, and get us some important data about the atmosphere of Mars and the weather system on Mars. Sarah's journey from a 12-year-old girl who was curious to see the picture of Andromeda Galaxy, the closest galaxy to the Milky Way, to the ministerial role and now the lead of the Mars mission, realized because of her unwavering passion towards space dreams. Her dreams got wings when Sarah, a computer engineer, joined the Emirates Institution for Advanced Science and Technology. She became a part of UAE's first satellite execution day. In 2016, she became a member of the Emirates Science Council. Her interest and skill in space exploration led her to the ministerial role. Sarah says UAE envisions a future where the nation would utilize the possibilities of space business, build the next generation, instilling interest in science, and be a part of innovations that take humankind to the space. Be able to use science and technology as the propellant for a further diversified economy within the Emirates. Um, for me personally, um, as a science lead on this mission, it's been an interesting endeavor because we've seen more and more students interested in the natural sciences, studying physics so that they can become planetary scientists and having their passions expanded due to the existence of this mission, being able to proceed in areas where I myself as, as, a, as a person growing here did not even think it was possible to dream of working in space and providing them new opportunities to be able to work if they want to be designers and developers and engineers if they want to be planetary scientists they're able to today find find opportunities to be able to work in those uh, sectors UAE announced the Mars mission in 2017 interestingly around 80% of space engineers and technicians in Sara's team were women the signature Sara leaves in the space and technology segment of UAE should be seen as a harbinger of more Arab women who are dreaming of the space.